Now then YouTube, I'm the Toff Man and welcome back to some more Patreon Server 2. That's right, we're back in Regrowth again this week. I really want to try to get as far as I can in this pack before, I get, uh, before it does change at the end of this month. There has been a few new Patreons, so you know, thank you very much for joining. Remember guys, if you do join Patreon and you want instant access to the server, you do need to go ahead and do a $5 donation to the link that is in the description below. Um, if you do join Patreon and you want to wait till the end of the month, that's absolutely fine as well. Uh, so just to remind those people who have joined the Patreon uh, that that is how you get instant access. So last episode, guys, uh, I showed you where I was with the uh, with the seeds and stuff. I've been doing a little bit of work in between episodes. Let's go and have a look, see what exactly that we've done. So what the world came to be, I've managed to get essence seeds, guys. I've done all of that. I've got the essence dust. I've got also got nature seeds. I haven't planted them yet, but I have got them there. Um, and I just need the grow, damn it, a speciality soil and a sound solution to be able to do that sort of stuff. What the world is made of, just literally started on that stuff, guys. Needed a mana pearl, needed a weak infusion stone, and then needed to get some weak essence with that. We got some skeleton soul seeds. I didn't pick up the weak essence. I definitely picked up the skeleton soul seeds because, of course, it will get us bone meal. We really, really needed bone meal, and that was really the chokehold of where I was in the last episode. So I've got that done. Um, I've also done the runic altar. We've got two mana pearls and some floral fertilizer for that. But this allows me to go ahead and make um, some stuff. Uh, and we'll get to that in a second. What the world teaches, still haven't done anything on that one. What the world enables, um, of course, I did make that. But I can't find an, uh, an ocean to be able to get some pearl oysters. So I'll have to see if anybody's got one, um, you know, going spare somewhere. What the world embraces. I've managed to do a little bit on that. I got the compartmentalization. I did that in an episode. Um, I also did the drawing from experience. I got the draws. I think I'm sure I did that in an episode as well. Encoding of the world. Well, we haven't done anything on that because, of course, we couldn't do the bees. And the sifty business required a load of string, if I remember rightly. Yes, it required a load of string, of which I didn't have. And then the life of the world. Now, this is where I have been doing quite a bit of work on these seeds. Um, I've been breeding the seeds up. I've got pumpkins, cucumber, sweet corn, chili. I've got a lot of stuff here and we're just going all the way through it. Uh, getting, uh, the next thing I'm getting is, I think, garlic? or oh, It's one of the two, anyways. Uh, but we can also do this. Now, we need to make eggs. To make eggs, we need a runic altar. We need seeds, pasture seeds, mandrake seeds, but we need some runes. Rune of mana and rune of earth. We should be able to do all of this stuff. But we'll uh, we'll be taking a look at that as we go forwards. What I first want to do though is pop out here and see if these things have grown. Uh, they have grown to a mature level. That's good. Let me pop that down, and uh, these as well. Yep. There we go. So we'll let them uh, do their business over here, guys. Things have changed a little bit. You can see that crops are now ten, ten, ten. The entire crops are ten, ten, ten. Sugarcane is ten, ten, ten. Essence seeds are ten, ten, ten. That is a big thing to have. But we're still working on mandrake seeds, we're still working on belladonna seeds, and we're still working on the skeleton soul seeds. So let me pop that one in the middle right there. Um, let's check this mandrake out. Don't worry, we're not going to be doing this for the entire episode. I'm just going to do this at the start here, guys. 10, 8, 10. We are so close. So 10, 8, 8, 8, 6. That's probably that one we need to get rid of then. Let's pop that down. 10, 8, 10. Pop that into there and let that grow. So we're getting plenty of stuff here, guys, which is great. Now, as you can see, all these are filled up now. I actually need to make some more so that we can, uh, you know, extend it on this side. Um, these are the magic ones. So we've got essence there. We've got the skeleton soul seeds and so on and so forth when we manage to be able to get some. Let's check this belladonna out. And um, hopefully that skeleton would have grown by then. But let's check the belladonna out. See what we are at the belladonna. This one's going a little bit slower. 265. It's Yeah, it's going very, very slow compared to the rest, so... 144. I think that's the worst one, isn't it? So let's get rid of that, put that one down, and let that do its business. Let's get the Belladonna flowers and put them away. You know, and this is just basically getting out us. Um, oh, yeah, look at that. Guys. Look at how much compost we've got. Basically, because I've just been harvesting this, and I haven't been using it for food because I've still got bread from the last time. So I've just been grabbing this, picking it up, 
and then just shoving it straight into here. And that's how we've been making so much compost. Now we're going to need that when we get into uh, magical crops properly. Right, let's go ahead and start making some of this stuff. The eggs for the life of the world, for instance. Oh, let's have a look. Garlic, brilliant. That's exactly what we needed. What's this one? Chili. Well, chili is not what we wanted. So let's pop that down and try it again. And take these up as well now. Chili wasn't what we wanted, so the chili seeds can go away. Um, what we need to do, though, inside here, is put our snowbell seeds, our water artichoke seeds, and what is going to be garlic. Wait, hold up. We did do that. 16 garlic for that, guys. I think you can just go ahead and plant garlic as it is. So, Oh, it's unidentified. We haven't identified it yet. Let's quickly identify this garlic. It's a 111. Okay, so we can plant it. We're going to need some more of these drawers. So what we're going to do for the moment is put the garlic in there, leave the other garlic in my inventory, put the water out to choke away, and then... Um, yeah, so leave the garlic in my inventory. We'll get to that at some stage soon. So we're going to start, guys, on the rest of the stuff. Let me just go ahead and see what I want to do next. I think tomato seeds might be a good one. So it's blueberry and chilli. I think we're using the chilli seeds at the moment. We are. I shouldn't have got rid of those other ones. Never mind. Um, strawberry seeds then. Raspberry and blueberry. Okay, we can do that one. I think. There's raspberries. Have I got the... Are the blueberry... Are they... Yeah, they're planted over here. You know what? I'll sort that out uh, another time. So we're going to need to start making some of those uh, eggs. Let's go back. Oops. The life of the world, guys. It's probably not a bad idea to maybe to get into some of the metals as well, but I'm going to do the eggs first. So, a rune of mana. We require one, two... Oh, yeah, we're going to need iron, guys, so we're going to need to go through the other one first. What is the world... What the world is made of? So, we need ender seeds and die seeds. Ender seeds are crafted with one essence seed, four weak essence, two ender pearls, two mana pearls. Well, we've got two mana pearls, but we haven't got two ender pearls, I don't think. Oh, we do. Get in. We really, really could use that. One, two, three, four of them. Oops. And I think it was essence seeds, was it not? Essence seed, four. Yes, we are sorted, guys. The thing is... Oh, it's getting night time. I seriously need to build a wall around this place. It gets so annoying at night time sometimes. Yeah, we're going to need to get uh, this. Let me get this up pop that down there. In fact, no, let's pop it the other way around, because then we don't need the thing to be able to uh, to make it work. Um, everything's died, guys. I'm not creating any mana at the moment, which is a shame, but what can you do? So let's put the essence seeds in there. One, two, three, four of them. Two of them. And two of them. It has now started crafting it, I believe. I need some living rock. Do I need living rock? I think I still need living rock for that. I still need the wand as well. Um, right, that's the living rock. Where is my wand? There it is. I, th I do believe you still need to chuck living rock on the top. Um, and that's one thing that's hard coded into the mod. I believe. Now, I could be totally wrong by saying that, guys. But uh, do let me know. Oh, there we go. <laughs> hey! Ender seeds. Now that's really nice to have, um, you know, early on. In fact, so nice. Where's the uh, the water? Where did I put the water? Did I put it up? I put it up there. Okay. In fact, so nice that we're going to immediately plant it. Get this on the ball. Uh, on the ball, because killing endermen is a pain. So getting these ender seeds down as soon as possible is going to help us massively. Now, please, you know, remember, guys, that uh, as of doing this recording, only episode one and two have gone out. I will tell you, uh, you know, your comments and suggestions very, very shortly. Um, Twelve will do nicely. Only really needed nine, but never mind. Right, compost, please. That, that, that. Brilliant. Get this down, and then we can start growing ender seeds. We have to get into Tinker's Construct at some stage as well, guys, because using flint all the time is a pain. 
and it'd be nice to get into some of that but we need metals to be able to really get into that so yeah there's that to think of there we go we'll let four grow in fact hang on a minute I haven't uh, taught it to my my thing let's get it identified yeah there we go and that is 24 seeds we've now uh, discovered let that grow guys and that will uh, you know get us into the ender seeds so we should have yep we've completed that now we can pick one of these now essence of ender is really easy to get um, in fact I'm probably gonna go ahead and do that first do I really want to do that what is it used for I need eight of them or do I want more weak essence I think weak essence might be a good thing to start with let's take the weak essence because you're going to need loads of these to be able to do it. There we go. Harvest them as well while we're here. Pop that into there. So we've got 62 essence dust in there. Um, and the weak essence, which is great. Ender seeds, guys. I'm happy about that. I am now happy that we're doing ender seeds. Dye seeds is also another good one to get um, early on uh, so that you can get all the dyes that you need. However, as you can see, you need one of every type of um, dye that is in vanilla Minecraft. Now, you can also do it with floral powder, which is probably what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and do that over at uh, what we're growing. Ah, tomato. I was growing tomato seeds. I see. Right, let's pop them back into where they belong. I said I wasn't going to do much of this in this episode because I've been doing it in uh, previous episodes. So chili goes back, so does the blueberry. Tomatoes are getting uh, searched up. There we go. And we will put that into there with the rest of the stuff that we will go ahead and, uh, and grow at some stage soon. So blueberries, what else? Chilies, nothing else. It's just the garlic, but we need some more stuff for that. Right, let's go inside and get some of those dyes that we need to make the dye seeds. There it is. Um, we need, well, we need did. Right, let me take a quick note of all of the colours that we need. So we need black, red, green, brown. Um, is that just normal blue or is it light blue? No, it's blue. Is it light grey or just grey? Oh, it's grey. Yellow. And white. I don't think we have um, any white flowers left. Oh, we do. Okay, so white is one of them. White. Yellow. Um, grey. That's light grey. That's grey. Blue. Just normal blue. There it is. Brown. Plenty of that kicking around. Green. Red. Um, oh, we just got one green. Green. Red. And then last, but no means least, black. I'm going to take all them, make them into their respective petals. And then from here, we can go ahead and make the dyes. We just need the mortar and pestle. Or pestle and mortar. Depends which way you want to uh, say it. So white. Yellow. Like, um, just normal grey, not light grey. Blue. Brown. Green. Red. And last but no means least, black. Put uh, that back into there, and then we'll put all of these into here. I need to sort these chests out at some stage, but, you know, applied energistics might be nice. Um, which, incidentally, when I get into the comments about, uh, you know, the previous episodes, I will get into that in just a second. Um, but we've got all of that now. We just need essence seeds. Remember, we need the seeds. I think we've got some spare ones in here. We do. And I think we needed two of the weak essence, did we not? Yes, two weak essence to seed and all of that. Um, we also needed one of these. And we've already got the wand. 
So we should be able to make die seeds in this episode. Now, a lot of regrowth, a lot of the start of regrowth is going to be centered around seeds. There is nothing much really that you can do about it. Um, that's just the way that the mod works. Uh, this mod pack works, should I say. We also need to really start making some more hydro angels so that we can get some more uh, stuff going on. So let's... Why is that not being taken? There we go. Seeds. One, two weak asses. And it's, interestingly, it's automatically starting. Whereas before, I'm pretty sure you had to have it like that and then you used to uh, just press it. Um, but it's not doing that now. And also, there is no little timer. Oh, there we are. Now it's saying that I can put living rock on the top of it. But there's no timer on there anymore. That is rather strange. So we've got die seeds. Brilliant. That is exactly what we needed for the quest. We can claim the reward. I think we're just going to go with the weak essence because we're using more of that at this stage. So we'll get the die seeds in there. And then we'll go through the comments of uh, the last previous episodes uh, that you guys have said. Now, there's only a few that I can really go ahead and, you know, say out loud that what you guys have been, uh, you know, suggesting and saying. One of them was uh, from Buckwheat saying about, you know, why I stopped um, regrowth last time was because of how hard it was to get AE um, and applied energistics and stuff like that sorted. That's the reason why. So... You know, that's just something to keep in mind going forwards. I'm hoping that I can get enough into this mod pack to be able to get at least near finishing it. But if we don't, we can just move on to uh, to something else, guys. And, um, you know, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be good fun. It's going to be good fun. You know, checking out new packs that are around, uh, around and about. And maybe even a 1.8 pack at some stage uh, would be a nice thing to see. But another comment here from uh, Zedric, it was, that the button in the analyzer actually opens the book. So I don't have to get the book out to open the book, which is pretty decent. I didn't know that. Uh, we've got some discovered mutations there. Nice. Oh, man, look at all them. Belladonna seeds are used for pretty much everything. That's nice. I like that. Oh, we haven't even g planted any of the mushrooms yet. I do have, I think, brown mushroom spores, but I don't have the red mushroom spores at the minute. Um, but we can go ahead and make a red mushroom at some stage. I think using a brown mushroom, but I could be totally wrong about that. Uh, another one of the comments, actually, the strength stat. So if you have a look on here, guys, the strength stat, as you can see, strength of 10, does actually, uh, you know, it require it, it tells you about weeds. You know, that's the primary stat of its uh, strength against being, um, you know, took over by a weed, I believe. And uh, the other thing is clippings. Now, in AgriCraft, there is a clipper, and what you can do is take clippings off a 10-10-10 plant, like this, and just go ahead and plant them somewhere else. So you don't have to go ahead and, you know, make it spread. So, for example, you can take a clipping, and the strength of that clipping, um, you know, depends on how it will take to the ground. So if I took a clipping of this, say, for example, and then put some more of the crop stick somewhere else, if I then was to plant that clipping uh, somewhere, the strength stat would be a big factor on whether or not it survived the uh, the trip or not. So, you know, that's uh, another thing of how to use the... Are these all grown? Well, they have, haven't they? Yeah, and how to use uh, the strength system within this. So, oh, let's go and take a look. It's mega important that these skeleton soul seeds really need a lot of bone meal at the start of this. Six, four, nine, doing quite well on them ones. Six, four, nine. I think that one's the worst one at the moment. So we'll pop that in there. And the spare so the spare seeds that we've got just go into there. So that I can go ahead and wait, hold up. Oh. Yeah, they have gone in there. Um crop sticks need to put some of that away. And I think we're done there. So the next thing then, after we've done that, copper. Now, this is the pain in the backside because we need a lot of clay. We need 16 clay. We also need floral orange powder, so we need to do a lot of that. The weak essences, I can go ahead and manually submit and do that already, but we need clay. The best way of getting clay is the clay cornea, this thing. But we need 12 clay to be able to do it in the first place, and also mystical light grey flower. So we need 12 clay. Now, this is a pain because the only way of getting clay is to go out there and, um, you know, whack the uh, the long grass. This is why we needed bone meal, because I didn't want to go around trying to, you know, 
to... Oh, we've got six, so that's not too bad. We need the Mystical Grey. How much of the Mystical Grey? We've got five Mystical Grey. How much did we need? Twelve, was it? Ten. So we're halfway there. Just needed some of this, which is good. But we also needed bone meal. Absolutely, massively need bone meal. And that is the reason why I've been working on the skeleton soul seeds. Because the bone meal will just grow the, uh, the stuff for me. So what have we got in here? Essence of the skeleton. We've only got five. <sighs> so really, we can only get a one set of bone meal. I have seen something though, guys. Let me go and turn this into bones. There we go. We've got two bones there. If you did this, you can turn it into three bone meal apiece. We'll end up with six bone meal. But there is a better way of doing this. Now we just need a load of saplings though. Or wood ash. You can combine bones with wood ash in a crafting table to get more bone meal for your book. So we'll show you, I'll show you in a second. Let me just go ahead and uh, chop down all these trees. In fact, let me chop down all of these trees, guys. And um, it's going to take a while for all of the leaves to despawn, so we can get some more. Um, so we can get some more saplings. So I'm going to cut recording right here, guys. I'm going to come back when I've got that and show you exactly what I mean. And then we're probably going to go ahead and, uh, and end today's episode. So I'll be back in a second, guys. Alright guys, I've got some more wood ash right now. There's three pieces here. Now if you combine this, like I said, with a bone. So, there's two. That doesn't do anything. Two pieces does four. Three pi- oh, it must be four pieces. Damn. I don't want to do that. I want to do a little bit more. Um, have I got any spare saplings in here? I don't think I do. We're going to really just have to wait until the trees have grown. Um, because I got rid of all of the trees, guys, and unfortunately it only dropped seven saplings, so I could only fill it up um, to this stage. So I'd never had any actual spare saplings kicking around. Um, interesting, to, in, interesting to note, I don't see any bad guys around. This is good. I don't want any bad guys anywhere near me, if I can help it. Now, I remember the first regrowth. I absolutely got mauled when it got round to uh, to night time but this time I've gone without doing a wall and uh, it seems to have been going okay for me so far so we re we're after at least two saplings from this tree it would be quite nice there's an apple it's not exactly a sapling but something I can also use so there's one sap oh, there's one sapling just need one more and we'll just use that to get there we go and uh, can we grab another one can we maybe just grab an extra one out of the last piece of these leaves? Yes, I can. Get it. So let's go ahead and make this into wood ash. Oh, look over there. There's actually somebody over there that's settled over there. It's Christopher, I believe, who settled right near me. Um, he wasn't to know at the time, obviously, but we should never, we shouldn't be able to, you know, we'll be close to each other, so it'd be nice to, you know, pop over and say hello, but uh, we'll never be too close to each other, if that makes sense. So that'd be good. And here we go. So, one bone with four wood ash makes five bone meal. So you get an extra two bone meal for the for the four pieces of uh, of wood ash. Now you can also get wood ash from the dead wood that you see kicking around the place. I'm just going to go ahead and turn this into normal uh, bone meal. But you can get dead wood by um, you, you know chopping down that wood. You can get wood ash from that. Occasionally, you know the uh, the bits with the charcoal. Um, that you can grab out of will also drop wood ash from doing so so you can do it that way as well but we need the bone meal why did I need the bone meal? oh the grass so I can get some more clay so let's basically this is exactly what I need to do so we've got seven bits of clay there we need twelve remember so we've just got to do this this is a good way of getting a, quite a lot of uh, magical fertilizer as well actually by doing this you also get quite a few flowers that you probably will never use Get some more clay. Brilliant. Off for all fertilizer as well. Which is awesome. You will occasionally get bone meal as well from the grass, if you remember. So th the thing is that you never get, you know, a guaranteed bone meal every time you do it. So you will end up running out of bone meal, which is why I wanted that skeleton soul, you know, thing growing sooner rather than later. So we've got eight clay now. Um, I'm going to get some floral fertilizer. I'm going to start growing some floral, some, some fluors, some fluors. Um, I actually need to put some of this stuff away because we've got too much in my inventory. Let's get rid of the flowers. 
Don't, I, want, I want to keep them. That's mystical flowers. They're not. They are. They are. That's not. That's not. Oh. Can't get rid of the dandelion. Can I get rid of it in here? Oh, yes, I can. So we are now making... Well, I need to put that in there. I'll put that in there as well. I might as well put most of this into here. There we go. Keep the clay on me. Keep the mystical grey flowers on me. Because we need these. And then go out there and start doing a load of farming with this stuff. I need some food as well, actually. Nom, 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 nom. Nice. And then this is basically what I'm going to be doing in between episodes, getting bone meal, going ahead, putting, you know, getting more floral fertilizer, getting that uh, planted down, getting a load of plants. And because I'm going to need them anyway going forwards, I need to start really creating quite a bit of mana now. So I am going to be doing that in between episodes. Now, if you've enjoyed it, please go ahead and leave a like. Don't forget, if you do want to be part of the Patreon server, you can by all means do that. And you will see all the links that you will need in the description below in the uh, of this video. Um... I would think that I'm probably going to be doing quite a few videos on the Patreon server 2 at the moment before it changes, of course. And then, you know, I do still want to do some Vagrim's Chance 3 at some stage as well, you know, get the Towers of Power going and stuff like that. We are having uh, a couple of TPS issues on that server at the moment, but um, it's going okay. It's going okay. And I do want to get back into that at some stage and get the Towers of Power going uh, and so on. But yes, that is going to be it for today's episode, guys. If you've enjoyed it, like I said, please go ahead and leave a like. And I will see you next time. Until then, guys, I've been the Tough Man. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, stay safe.